In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Android Studio. So what is Android Studio? Well, Android Studio is the official Android interactive development environment. And the reason why it's the official Android interactive development environment is because it is the best interactive development environment for creating Android applications. So there's a few other interactive development environments, excuse me, or IDEs that we can use when creating Android applications, but those are just not as good. Let me tell you, Android Studio makes it a lot easier for us to create Android applications because it has a lot of tightly integrated tools that do some automated things for us so that we can get up and running relatively quickly when we're trying to create Android applications. So. Take my word for it, this is the best way to develop Android applications. Be sure and download it and install it. If for nothing else other than that we are going to be using it when we're doing this tutorial. So if you guys wanna follow along very easily, this is probably the best way to do it, right? So for nothing else, just do it to follow along. But if you need other reasons, it is the best, right? So I highly recommend you download it. Great. So. Unlike the last video where I told you, you know, you could probably just punch in Google, you know, JDK. Uh, in this video, punching in Android Studio isn't going to yield the best results. I did it and it seems that a lot of the links there don't lead you to this page. So instead of, you know, going into Google and typing in Android Studio, what I recommend is that you just copy this link word for word and punch it into your browser. And if you did that properly, it should lead you to this page here. So from here, what we're going to want to do to install, rather to download and install Android Studio is we're going to want to click on this green button here. So I have a Windows operating system. So it says download Android Studio for Windows. If you have a Mac, I believe it would say for Mac. So I'm going to click here. And actually, before we do that, let me just show you something. So what we did before this is we went ahead and installed the JDK, right? So you'll notice that Android Studio's requirements is that it has a Java development kit, right? That's why we installed that first because this IDE uh, depends on having the JDK that we just installed. So just so you know. So from there, like I said, we're gonna wanna click on the download Android Studio button. We'll click on, I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions. And then from there, we're gonna click on download Android Studio for Windows. So once it's done that, it's going to go ahead and start downloading at the bottom left here. And you'll notice that this is a rather large file size. So don't get discouraged if your uh, if your browser says something like 55 minutes till it's finished, right? This is, like I said, rather large, and so it could take quite a while. So just give it some time, and then when it's finished downloading, go ahead and install it to your operating system. The one thing I do want to point out to you guys is um, Android Studio tells you that some people have problems uh, actually installing Android Studio because it can't find that JDK that we just installed. And the reason that is, is on Windows, sometimes you need to add a specific environment variable to your, your properties, right? So just make sure that if you have trouble installing Android Studio, that you follow these instructions here, right? Exactly as they say it here. So I've already done this once before, and I know that it works. So the one part that's not going to be the same is yours is going to be something like 1.8, right? So pretty much you're just going to want to go to program files, then Java, and then just copy whatever it says there. So instead of JDK 1.7, you should say JDK 1.8, something like that. So that's actually going to do it for installing Android Studio, guys. Hopefully you guys don't run into this issue. That's going to do it for this video. All right, I'll see you in the next one.